There are several ways to view the bladder. First, a transverse scan is performed on the upper part of the pubis. This test can only be done when the bladder is full of urine. Filling the bladder with urine has several meanings. First, it is good for examining the bladder itself. Become an anatomical marker in the pelvis. Also, when examining the uterus and ovaries, the bladder must be filled with urine. Urine in the bladder is used as an ultrasound sound window. It fills the bladder with urine because it allows you to see the organs at the back. You need to fill at least 250 cc to see the various organs behind the bladder. Scan like this in the upper pubis transverse scan. I gave an angle to the foot. If you scan like this while giving an angle to the head, the bladder will be visible. This is the anterior wall of the bladder. This will be the right lateral wall. This is the left lateral wall. And this is the posterior wall. I'll have to check if this surface is smooth or if there is irregularity. Adjust the gain to see if there is debris or septum. You should scan while checking this condition. In this state, if it seems to give a little angle to the foot, symmetrical findings appear as if there are leaves on both sides. If the patient is male, when it looked like this, these are seminal vesicles. To symmetrical hypoetoic soft tissues on either side look symmetrical. If male, if you give an angle to the foot after a little more in such a state, past the seminal vesicles, the prostate is drawn like this on the back. Prostatic hyperplasia, prostate cancer, etc. To see the prostate, there is also a way to do it using a transrectal probe. First, you need to do an abdominal ultrasound scan to get the overall outline. So 20 grams is normal for a normal prostate. How do you indicate the number of grams? Do a transverse scan like now and measure the AP diameter. Measure the left and right width. So, measure the length of the anterior wall and posterior wall and measure the left and right width and measure the longitudinal length the longitudinal length cannot be seen in the upper pubis transverse scan now we will continue to explain the longitudinal scan of the upper pubis as seen in the longitudinal scan the bladder is visible the prostate looks like this in a triangular shape if you measure it here, it's just the longitudinal length. And here we have to multiply by 0, 5. This is the number of grams for the prostate. Therefore, you can do a trans-longitudinal test and immediately indicate the number of grams. When performing a longitudinal scan of the upper pubis, a longitudinal scan is also performed. Left in longitudinal scan, a right side examination will reveal the entire bladder. Bladder is visible. On the posterior wall of the bladder, this corresponds to the seminal vesicle. And here you can see the prostate, as I said earlier. In a longitudinal scan, the length used to indicate the number of grams in the prostate can be measured. And I told you one thing while examining your bladder. In the longitudinal scan earlier, A ureter that comes down from the kidneys. Entrance into the bladder. This is the ureter ovesicular junction. Ureter, bladder junction. It is marked as UDJ. Normal UDJ can be seen with ultrasound. The site of urine that normally comes down from the kidneys being jabbed into the bladder. We can see it through dynamic studies. Why is it always good to know that? to see these stones, because UVJ causes a lot of stones. You need to keep a close eye on UVJ, but you can find it easily. When viewed on a transverse scan, UVJ enters like this. This is how it goes here too. In this way, you can see on the ultrasound how the urine is jagged into the bladder. Please keep an eye on this on a regular basis. To see the bladder, 
a transpubic transverse scan is required. As now, the bladder is filled with urine, and tested. Start at the feet, and work towards the head. When the examination is done while gradually giving the angle, the appearance of the bladder can be seen. Now, the anatomical structure. Now this is the anterior wall of the bladder. This is the right lateral wall, left lateral wall, and it becomes the posterior wall. If it looks like you want to scan the probe like this with the angle a little more towards the foot, now I can see some hypoetoic structures that are black on both sides. This is seminal vesicles. It becomes the seminal vesicles seen from the posterior wall of a man's bladder. If you give a little more angle downward from the position where the seminal vesicles are visible, there are things that look like an oval like this. This is the prostate. A normal prostate weighs less than 20 grams. A way to measure the normal size of the prostate is a P diameter. That is, we measure from here to here. This is the anterior wall. It's the posterior wall. And measure the left and right width. After remembering these two figures, the bladder. When performing a longitudinal scan of the upper pubis, it will be drawn like this. The overall appearance of the bladder is well observed. And the seminal vesicles you saw earlier will be visible. Then, the prostate is visible in the middle. AP diameter. Measure the left and right width. After that, measure the length of the end and multiply these, 3, to get 0, 5. Because it will be a way to measure the prostate in grams. Please reconsider those numbers. AP diameter, left and right width, and measure the longitudinal length. Multiply these by each other, and then multiply by 0, 5. You can look at it like this. So, we looked at this anatomical structure, from the longitudinal scan, to the posterior part of the bladder.